What's up, people? It's your belief, and today I wanted to go over the new DLC Coiled Captors for Tiny Tina's Wonderland. This DLC is basically another chaos run where you go through rooms and collect souls. So these souls are used to spin a Wheel of Fate, which gives you one random item per 25 souls. I just wanted to go over how to beat the dungeon, the souls you collect, and if it's a viable way to collect loot. So to be honest, the dungeon runs were pretty easy and seemed more tedious than fun. I am playing on balance, I have not reached chaos level 20 and my build is not optimized. But the reason why I say the runs seemed more tedious than fun was because you have to shoot some pillars three times and then have them rotate into the correct order. When shooting the pillars, it takes a while for them to rotate into the correct order. So sometimes you're just standing there waiting or you just start running in between different pillars just to kind of get it done faster. Um, there are two side missions that you can accomplish for each room if you want extra loot. One mission, you have to find two loot chests and the second mission, you have to shoot X amount of explosive barrels. I recommend not even doing the side missions because it adds extra time to your run and it doesn't give you the greatest loot. Out of my few runs accomplishing these side missions, I was able to get one legendary item, but most of the time I got green and gray items or loot from doing these side missions. But if you want to do the side missions, I highly recommend doing the two chest side mission. The chests are usually in the same spot, so it's a lot easier to get down once you figure out where the chests will be spawning. You can figure out what side missions you will have before entering the mirror. If you don't like the side missions, I recommend you do the run without doing any of the side missions and hope that it changes next round or exit to the main menu and load back in. Loading in the map did change my settings twice, but it didn't change every time. So I'd recommend just running through the dungeon instead of like loading in and out. Also, these side missions will not give you extra souls only loot and money. So this leads me to my next topic, which is collecting souls for the Wheel of Fate. You can only collect souls by opening the side mission chest or killing enemies, and you only get one soul for killing enemies and opening the side mission chest, okay? So even if the side mission chest has three freaking souls, when you open the chest, you only get one. Weirdly enough, I did not get any souls for beating the boss. And at the end of the run, on average, I think I was getting about 150, 130 souls, somewhere around there, which means you can get about five to seven items at the end. So is this a viable way to farm items? I think you're better off just running the chaos dungeons if you want loot, all right? In the chaos dungeon, you get way more crystals. And when you're in the loot room, you get more items for 500 crystals rather than just using 25 souls right you only get like 150 on average right you only get one item which may or may not be good not only that but in the chaos dungeon you get to choose what type of item you want compared to the wheel of fate but i recommend running coil captors if you want specific loot or just want to experience the dungeon i was able to get a shotgun called divergent where you throw it and then you like it's like a dice or something and i was able to get two rings called shark bane and lethal catch which i believe are dedicated drops because they have to do with like those land shark things but i am not 100 percent sure about that but farming this boss is still a pain because you have to go through the whole dungeon to collect souls and beat the boss. All in all, I think Coil Captors DLC was sort of a letdown. It wasn't exactly the funnest thing. Supposedly, the boss has four different forms. So each week he will change forms and become more difficult. So hopefully that will spice it up a little bit. Maybe they will increase the amount of souls you get to collect as well. I feel like you should get at least 25 souls for killing the boss and the amount of souls you see when you open those freaking soul chests, okay? But give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. Like the video if you guys enjoyed it or learned something. Subscribe if you guys want more Wonderlands gameplay and comment down your options if you're going to get the DLC or the season pass or whatever. But I'll see you guys next time. Good luck in whatever game we're playing. Peace.